always had a tremendous passion for ceramics, and then glazes, and then from glazes into glass. I just love everything about it. It's just the most wonderful, the most mysterious, the most exciting material there is. It brings so much magic into our lives, everyday lives, the material glass. Uh, we live in the age of glass. Jimmy had a dream. He had a vision. He was very driven. He was in love with the glass. He was so connected to it. His love of what he did and love for glass has been transferred to everyone here. We're all so honored to carry on. Early on, Jimmy realized that in order to produce a body of work for a growing number of collectors, he'd need additional talent and help to do that. So he went to Mexico to look for the best glass blower he could find. And he located Miguel and asked him to come to California to work with him. And through Miguel, he hired the very talented Venancio. With the quality of Jimmy's glass and the richness of color, a wealth of talent, we've established a timeless tradition that will be cherished by collectors for generations to come. What I want to strive in the glass is to bring the glass to look more alive, to have more of a three-dimensional quality to it and to be as natural looking as possible. This is basically like sculpting and painting with glass. Danny's a gift. He is so talented and such a delight to work with. He is so expressive. He has so much emotion and conveys so much passion in his work. People oftentimes mistake imagery within his paperweights and vases for the real thing. They think they're looking at a real flower in glass and wonder how he did it. He started out just kind of hanging around Jimmy's backyard shop in San Jose and then started as an apprentice in 1974. And for the last 19 years, he's been designing and producing his own work exclusively. I'm actually just really trying to bring out the life in each individual piece of glass. A lot of the pieces start out as a very personal representation of what inspires me to do that piece. And just to be able to create that piece is reward in itself. I mean, there's so much I would like to create and just have that expression and have it to come out in the glass and, it's, and that's, that's almost gratifying enough. the roses. I enjoy doing the roses the most. And personally, that's because of my grandmother's garden. And just to be able to bring the center of the rose, the rosebud, to life, that was a big challenge. And that was when you see it opening up in the glass piece, I mean, that was a high point in being able to create that in glass. Miguel was the first one to develop pieces in our ever popular Indian basket series. Others have contributed designs and ideas to that evolving series. He is wonderful. He's very comfortable with the glass. He has so many years of experience and he's a delight to watch. Working with Venancio, he's trained a lot of the assistants here sharing his skill and techniques with them. And his current assistant, Renato, is very talented and has learned a lot from Miguel.
All of the artists have the freedom to experiment and try new things. They're always pushing the aesthetics in new directions, creating their own style. Miguel was the first person to spray our gold luster chipped glass in the sunset pattern. It's sprayed blue and it moves into golds, pinks, and purples. Very reminiscent of a sunset, so beautiful. Later, Venazio added lines and we developed our Van Gogh sunset. Venazio is very driven. He has a strong vision of what he wants to create. He's really interested in making pieces that appeal to his audience. And he's very inspired when he, in fact, has an audience during our open houses. He came up with the moray fern while experimenting with gold and green lines. He pulls them into a pattern that has so much movement, it beckons to be touched. Alex is Venancio's son and his assistant, and he has learned a great deal from his father and through working with Daniel. He has a keen interest on creating designs and working with the crystal glass. What I've tried to do is bring new glass and new designs to the collector, glass to enrich their daily lives. It's such a sensuous material. Raul is a rare individual. He is such a perfectionist, takes such care with every piece of glass that he makes. Raul started as an apprentice and it became evident early on that he had a real flair for working with the glass. He perfected the royal zebra design, which is a rich gold and blue pulled pattern, revealing a lustrous gold interior. He's so good at coaxing the color out of the glass. It's so rich, it's luscious. Jaime, Raul's assistant, does a very good job with the, the worlds. They're a very effective team and together produce all the world weights in production today. The idea for the world weight came about at a meeting with the buyer for the Nature Company. This was uh, the fall of 1988. And driving home from that meeting, I was struck by the simplicity of doing the world in glass, but I wanted to do it like no one had ever done it before. I wanted a really, a very realistic world, one that had oceans alive with currents, one that had land masses textured and varied. I wanted lush tropical rainforests, dry arid deserts, frigid polar caps. And I wanted to immerse the entire piece in a gaseous envelope. And I knew this was a tall order, and as I got back to my studio and, and looked around and started to prepare for this, I realized I had all these materials already developed. It was like they had been sitting here waiting for years just for this idea to come along. Somehow I've touched a nerve in humanity with this world weight, and when people hold this thing in their hands, they feel like there's hope for a healthy future. I'm always in awe with what the artists do here. They're so talented, and as an art director, I work with them on shape and design when necessary. They make my job so enjoyable, bringing beauty and magic to the collector. I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. Today, the works by Lundberg Studios are in great demand worldwide and have gained steadily in value. Each piece is signed with a studio name, date, and registration number. Their work is very limited in volume and can be found only in America's finest stores and catalogs, including Gump's and the Smithsonian. Their work is also represented in Germany, France, Holland, England, and Japan. Seen as a universal symbol, the world weight has been chosen by numerous international corporations and governmental agencies as awards of achievement, or significant environmental contributions. The influence of Lundberg Studios can be seen in the works of many prominent glass houses. Lundberg Studios continues to be a leader in developing new designs and motifs, while examples of their work are included in almost every major museum and private glass collection. I love that feeling, being just swept away, just so involved that um, almost nothing else exists.